Hey guys, it's a Geeky Take here with a different kind of video. I get a lot of questions about how I make my thumbnails and I was sitting here about to make this one and I was like, you know what, this will be a perfect time to just record me making my thumbnail. Uh, I use a program called Pixelmator and that's what this is right here. I remember I bought it years ago and I believe I only paid like $14, it was on sale. I know I didn't spend a whole lot of money, but I believe it's increased in price and they may even have a an update that I can't even get. So I don't even think this is the most updated. I think they have a paid update maybe, and I, I just haven't got around to that yet. But so this is my thumbnail, my document. The sizes, you can look it up on the internet and I think YouTube even tells you the correct size to make your document. Over here I have all my layers and I try to keep like, I have like maybe a couple, but I just have like different, <laughs> I just do different groups, make it really easy for me. So like my Amber Airline, you know, I'll just take a screenshot and throw it in there. I don't know what this is, um, episodes, um, Sims Mobile, uh, what is this, the illusions. I kind of just keep it so then I can just go in there and quickly uh, get my whatever I need, put it in there. So here's D my Disney Magic Kingdoms one. And I am making the thumbnail for the most recent video that I just uploaded. And it was how to unlock the char featured character collection. And it was an update on how I'm doing with the mayor. I already have the mayor cut out right where is he right here? So we might use him. I don't need this background anymore. I like to use, I usually eat a lot of screenshots from the game and I give them like a little blur. So this is uh, the screenshot. I'll show you guys real quick how I blur. So I'll put this on. This is what I'm going to be. Oh, how do I? Okay, so this is the, I'm gonna actually use this to get some things, but I'll show you guys how I blur. So if I was gonna use this as a background, I would use my effects and blur, and then I would just blur it, but I'm not gonna blur this. This is what I'll use throughout the event to, I, I don't really need another mayor. I already have the mayor cut out, but usually this is where I would get my, um, this is where I would get my my characters. People we were like, how do you get the, the you know, transparent? image of the characters this is where I get them from so I'll use this little tool it's like a little magic wand tool and I would just go through and it's really easy like to select the character and then you know I would copy and paste sometimes I have to zoom in and get a little bit more close up but sometimes it's a really easy cutout like this is like a really really easy cutout so if I was going to use him I would have it and I would just copy it and um this is just a rough patch, you know what I mean? Just to show you guys. And then I would just um, paste it on there. And then there he is, so I would, and see there he would be. But I, I don't need him because I already have myself a mayor. But what I do need from here is his little uh, megaphone because that's what I was working on today. I'm, I'm actually done collecting his megaphones. So I'm gonna go and circle in here. I love when they do these little posters <laughs> with the little items on there. It makes it so much easier for me to make a thumbnail. So I'll do that, I'll copy. And I'll do select and I'll unhide that because like I said, I'm gonna need that later. So maybe I would have like the thumbnail, right? I'll have this here and Let's see, I kind of, maybe he can be here, the mayor. Make the mayor like bigger for this. Like he's talking. And then I would need a font. And so I can just take one of my fonts that I've already, you know, the little text that I've already used. In this, I'm gonna do times, what do we need, 30. So we needed 30 of those, I don't like the color. So I'll change that to, I'll change it to white. But what I also wanna do is add in a little emoji. So I will go to edit emojis and symbols, and then I'll find a check mark, which I already have. Can you put it in there? Here, I'll put my check mark. 
there we go. Oh, I think it put it in here. This styles thing was just in the way. All right, so but I want to cut, and I want to put that before it. And so times 30 megaphones done. But I want my megaphone here to have a little shadow. So I'll go to the shadow and offset it a little bit, blur it. And you can even give it a stroke, like if you wanted to have an outline so that it would stand out more. And that makes it stand out a little bit better, you know? So times 30, we're gonna put it right here. Like we're done. And then I could also do um, tower challenge progress or or I could do featured characters unlocked and like that would normally be like normally I probably like I maybe I could also do it this way since I don't even know what I want to do but then I would align it I'm gonna move this over here and it would just be like featured characters if I know how to spell unlocked you know and I can move this up here. I can make this smaller. I'm using impact font. It's over here. Uh, let's see. We'll start with 150. That might be kind of, well, that might actually work. Featured characters unlocked. And then I'll also put the, the uh, bullhorns up here. I don't, yeah. So you guys would know that I'm done with the bullhorns also. Times 30. Or I don't even, or I could take the mayor. I don't even have to have the mayor. I could take the mayor off and have this be like the image. So then I could, what is going on with this text box? Why is it so big? All right. I can make the bullhorn even bigger and have that go down here, that I have those done, and then I could go back to my text and make my text bigger. So I could go back and put my text actually back to 200. Did that work or was that still too big? Let me actually featured character unlocked. I think I'm gonna make that a little bit smaller it's the characters on I'm, I'm gonna make my bullhorn a little smaller. I don't know. It's this that needs to go down. And then sometimes if I feel like I need a word, I would go and like make that a different color. Like if I feel like I need the word to pop out, you know, but I don't think so. It can stay white, huh? I wonder if I could change that a different color. I don't think I can, unless I made it like a shape. And you can make this smaller. move this over so it's easier to operate. Kind of spin this. I'm going to hold down the command button with the mouse and that's going to tilt that for me. There I want it. I think I want it on the bottom. And then I could do it just like that. And I could just, if I feel like the background is like distracting a little bit, I can blur it a little bit more so that the words pop out a little bit better, you know? And then that would be my thumbnail. Sometimes I add a watermark over it, but it's not really that big of a deal. I'll just do like my logo or something. And I don't know if I have any on here. 
that I can uh, show you guys how I would do that. I'd have to go, um, I think the Zoom Zoom, so I might have one, an image. and show you guys so sometimes with the zoom let me go back and sometimes it's last time i guess i did a, a emoji blitz but i will let's see um where is it where's the background that i and i'll do like whatever my logo is we'll just do this one and you see how it's um like transparent and sometimes I'll do like whatever I'm using like my image transparent just in case because sometimes people do steal thumbnails <laughs> and that way I'll just have like my my little character over it so like maybe like her I made that one so I would take like her and have her like larger but then make it um Kind of transparent over there and that's kind of how i would do that if i was afraid that somebody was going to steal my thumbnail or something <laughs> but yep we can undo that and i'll show you guys real quick and that's it i'll just go and i'll do like file export and a png and then i will just title it and I'll just put DMK for this one. Matches what I think I titled the video <laughs> for the file. And so then I'll know to upload that one. Hopefully this kind of helps. Shows you guys how I, because I think that's the biggest thing, how I get the characters, pictures, and the icons and things like that. All right, guys. Thanks for watching. And let me know in the comments if you would like me to do any other how-to tutorials. I'll see you guys next time.